What's up guys, it's Thief Chief here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I have for you an icon sniping guide, so a very high budget trading filter for you guys. So if you are enjoying the content, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe to be entered into the FIFA points giveaway I'm going to be doing. And let's jump right into this. So guys, a lot of you have been asking me for some more high budget trading methods. So here's one of them. And I've also had some icon, some uh, questions specifically about icon sniping. So I'm going to go through, show you what I know, some different filters. I got two for you today. One is a very broad one. One is a more specific expensive one. So the first thing about icon sniping is a lot of people want to get into high budget filters as soon as they have two, three, four hundred K. That's really not what you want to be doing. Because you don't want to have all your coins invested into one card because then you're going to be tempted to sell it on quicker for less coins so that you can get your coins back. So typically with icon sniping, I recommend you have over like 750 to a million coins, somewhere around that range or more. So to start with the icon sniping, guys, the first thing you're, wanna, you're going to want to do is you're going to want to change your max bid price and your max buy now. So your max buy now is just gonna be the thing that you change to kind of refresh the market. But your max bid price is gonna be kind of the main thing here. So you wanna set this so that you're only finding cards, you, you only want one card that has over an hour left. So as you can see, there's a Hiero there with over an hour left and the rest of these have are under an hour. So you only want max of one card with an hour over an hour left. So, but you want this to be the highest it can be without going over that. So as you can see, 100k is going to be our max here. So basically, you're going to set this to 100k. And this lets you see every single card that has a, uh, a current bid price of less than uh, 100k here. Or 100k or less. So these are the cards you're going to see here. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the card that is the closest to an hour that is under it. And you're going to hit X to uh, compare price like so and then you're just gonna hit B to back out and what this does guys is it refreshes the market and what that means is any new card that you're gonna see that uh, gets listed you're gonna see it pop up on your screen because if you just sit here without pressing anything you don't see the new cards pop up but if you compare price and then press B to back out it is going to refresh the market and any cards that get listed are going to pop up here. Now it's late at night, so we're probably not going to see any icons listed, especially on open bid like so. So guys, I'm just going to give you some examples. So what you would do is you would keep pressing X and B to compare price, and you would see actually a lot of car cards popping up here on open bid. Most of them are going to be great deals, but once you see one pop up, there's basically two things you can do. So the first thing you can do is if you're really into icon sniping, you tend to know the market and you know the price of certain cards. So basically you would see a card and you would immediately recognize whether it's a deal or not, or it would be really close to being a deal and you would have to check the going, the general going price. And what you're going to do to do that guys is you're going to go to footbin, but you're going to want to do something a little different here. So if I go to footbin here and let's say I saw someone... Let's say I saw this Nedved pop up for 100k, and I had no idea what his price was. So I'm going to type in Nedved here to Footbin. I know you guys can't see my screen, but I'm going to go ahead and do this. And for Nedved, you don't want to just like see his top prices you're, that you generally see. You're going to want to go down to the bottom to Hourly Graph and look at yesterday and today and just see what his going price was for the Hourly Graph here. So Hourly... Xbox, he sat yesterday about 330k was his price, and then today, uh, we don't we don't really see much. He was about 330 again today. So Nedved was about 330k, and let's pretend we saw one of those 89 ones pop up. So let's just uh, check his price here on the actual console. So as you can see, there's none for 330k. And there's a couple here for three, 336 is the cheapest, guys. So that's what you do is you're going to want to go on Footbin. You're going to check the hourly price to see kind of the general area the player sits at yesterday and today hourly just to see their going price and what you're going to be able to sell them for. And then just kind of as you see these players pop up, you're going to quickly go over to Footbin, check their hourly price, and uh, see if it's, it's pretty much a good deal or not. You're going to check whether or not you're going to be able to make coins off of it. 
And now, guys, one of the big things with icon sniping is you really need to take into account tax because you're going to be selling cards for 300, 400k. And if you sell a card for, say, 400k, you're going to lose 20k on tax. So you need to take that into account when you're trying to recognize whether a card is a deal or not. So say... So this Nedved we, we know goes for 336, and I see one pop up for 320, and I could sell him for 330k. Yes, if you're just looking at buying him for 320 and selling him for 330, that's profit, as in you're going to make 10k, but actually you're going to lose coins. Because you sell a card for 330k, you're going to lose 16.5k on tax. So if you buy them for 320 and sell them for 330, you're actually losing six and a half K coins there. So guys, that's my first thing with icon sniping. This is a really basic method here. You are going to see cards pop up. As you can see, again, a Soul Campbell here, two hours and 59 minutes. Oh, if we check his price here, not a good price for that one. As you can see, he's under 500 K. Um, but again, with this method, you're going to see cards pop up and you're going to check their prices quickly on Footbin to see if you're going to snipe them or not. And then as well, you're going to see a lot of cards pop up with the open bid here. And you're going to be able to use this as a bidding filter as well. Cause you're going to see like this Nedved, we know he goes for this 336 K, but we're going to be able to try and try and bid on him as well to see if we're able to pick him up for nice and cheap. So you're going to get cards to bid on, you're going to be looking for cards to snipe on, which is why this first filter is really good. So the second filter that I've kind of looked into, seen some stuff on, is just Icon Brazilians. This one is a little bit more high budget. I don't really know the price they're sitting at right now. So as you can see, they're a bit more expensive than the other Icons. It looks like they're sitting about 300,000 coins, the cheapest one. So let's see. Yeah, about 300,000 coins on the dot. So let's say you're selling these for 290, you're gonna lose about 15K on tax. So if we sell these for 290, we're losing 15K on tax. We're gonna to wanna to snipe these about 260,000 coins. And what you would do guys, is you would just sit here and you would just try and snipe these. Now, you're gonna get market banned or at least kicked off of Ultimate Team pretty quickly because you gotta search a while to, to find icons that are, uh, that are listed up for nice and cheap. So one of the better methods for this is, again, what I showed you before. You're going to want to go to the cheapest card there is, which is this Rivaldo for 299k. And you're just going to want to hit X to compare price and then B to back out. And this will do exactly what I was doing before, changing the price and searching. But it does it, and you can't get banned while doing this. So it's a little bit slower, but it is more efficient. And then you're just going to want to make sure you're only picking up cards for the price that suits you. So if we're selling these for 295k, losing 15k on the tax, we're going to want to pick up cards for about 260,000 coins or less to make good coins off of it. So while we're comparing price and moving it, just make sure that we're picking up cards for the right price if we do see one pop up. So guys, that is my icon sniping. Now again, I just want to move into more of the bidding end of things. Now, just to show you guys what we were doing before was we set this to about 100K here, and then we, uh, we set our buy now all the way up. So this was a way to kind of, kind of snipe players and bidding on the side. But what I prefer to do, guys, is I just search icons and I look for guys that are on open bid and they have bids that are a lot less than their buy now. And this is a method you're going to want to do late at night because a lot of people won't be paying attention to the market. And I just want to kind of find a card for you guys here. That's not a great one. Uh, Ian Wright doesn't look like a great one as well. Let's kind of flick through. As you can see, there's a lot of cards up on the market. So you are still going to find cards that you can do this with. Um, can we find one on open bid here? Let me just keep scrolling, see if we're able to find anything that has a good deal. So again, you're going to find cards. Wow, someone bid up for 2k less. That's an interesting one right there. Might just be coin transferring there, but who knows. Um, let's look for something here. Sorry this is taking a while, but I want to make sure we find a good one for you guys. Something on a nice big open bid, or at least has a lower bid. This Hierro here, how much does he go for? 
Okay, so he's about 400k, so 380 there is not a great price, but again, one you could try to bid on. You just want to make sure you're not losing coins on tax. But what I like to do, guys, is I literally just search icons, and I just kind of like to scroll through and see cards that are on open bid. And what you can do is you can set a max price, just so you're getting less of the higher end cards, cards you're able to afford on bid here. Someone like an Ian right there with a bid that's open. If we kind of go to go a little further in, like 10 minutes out, maybe we might find some cards here. But again, just an easy way to find cards. You might find a card every now and then that slips through and you're able to bid on. But again, our first method was first, we, we put our, uh, our max bid price here. Oh wow, messed that up a couple times to about 100k. We set our max buy now up, and then we just sit here, and we're going to hit X to compare price, and then we're going to hit B to uh, refresh the market, and then you're just going to look for cards, guys, that look like good deals, and then you're going to check Footbin for the hourly price to see if it is really a good deal, and make sure you're taking into account tax. And then the second thing I showed you was just a straight up sniping filter with the Brazilian icons. On Xbox, they're going about 300k, so that's the price you're going to be sniping at. So just make sure you're trying to get those. So guys, that has been my icon sniping, bidding, just kind of trading in general with icons video. If you want to see something more in depth or you have questions, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. So if you did enjoy this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe to be entered into the giveaway I'm going to be doing. And I'll catch you in the next video.